Okay, welcome back, welcome to day five. I hope you're finding things okay. Hey, like I said yesterday, today's another practice day. All right, there's nothing really new today. We're just really trying to just summarize all these things we've thought about, because there's actually a lot, um, and we're just gonna try and get more smooth and more consistent with the notes that we know so far. Um, all right, so please don't be frustrated if you think, oh, I want, I want new songs, I want new songs. There's new stuff coming tomorrow. Today's about just getting down to it and getting better at what you already know. So before we start, think about all the things you need to think about. Is your guitar in tune? If not, tune it now. Once you're ready, like your left hand position, are you using your fingertips? Or are you being one of these people that plays like really flat? Flat fingers, that is gonna cause you huge problems later on. All right, you need to be on your fingertips. Your thumb needs to be nicely at the back and you need to be clamping, okay? You don't want to be one of these people that thinks it's okay to like put their wrist like this, all right? It's not okay. Don't do it, do it properly. Put your thumb at the back, pointing to the ceiling and your wrist nice and low, all right? Today is like a workout. Your right hand, are you holding your pick way out here and it's causing you problems, you keep dropping it? No, you're holding it in, okay, nice and tight. If you're not got a pick, you're using your thumb and you're doing rest strokes, remember? Just pluck in. I'm plucking G, my pick is resting on B. And it's controlled, and it's simple, and you're not working too hard at it. Another little tip for picking is you should be pushing towards the floor, but also slightly in towards the guitar. Don't pluck out, don't pluck out, don't do it. Pluck in, and aim for the next string down, all right? I think that's enough talking. What we're going to do is we're going to go over all our notes in a kind of um, continuous exercise. We're going to try and just keep on playing through like all the notes, different uh, lengths of notes, fours, twos, or ones, um, and a steady tempo. And it's a bit like an exercise. So I'm not going to stop in between too much. I'm going to talk as we go, but you're going to try and keep up. If you get lost, just stop playing, look at the music, listen to what I'm saying, and then try and come back in when it makes sense. Don't try and suddenly catch up if you're getting out of time, just stop. That's a really important thing to do when you're practicing. Okay, let's get ready. So these these are fours, looking on the screen right now. Uh, these Each one of these is four beats long. I'm gonna do it twice through. So I'm gonna do it with the beat. One, two, three, four. Two, let it ring, three, four. This is the beginning of the exercise, nice and easy. On to A. Two, three, four. Two, three, switching strings onto B. Two, three, four. And last one onto C, three, four. Two, Three, four. We're going back to the beginning straight away. Three, four. Now G, two, three, four. Then it ring all the way out. Three, four. Then A, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Now B, two, three. One more. Concentrating your strokes. Three, four, and C. Two, three, four, and C. Two, three, four. Now, well done. Now we're on to doing two beats in each. But you see, four, four times of each note, but they're double beats. Like this. One, two, three, four, and. Two, one, two, listen to the tempo. Now up to A. Get there on time. Start thinking about what's next. It's all about anticipation. Nice and clear. And finally on to C. We're going to go right back to the beginning, which is in just a second. 
to three, no, G. Try and feel the beat, get into it. On to eight. Singles, we're going straight in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then eight. Don't rush, stay with the beat. It's very easy to go too fast. Switch strings. done all right now now we're really getting a bit complicated have a look you've got a four followed by a couple of twos followed by singles followed by twos and it's all on a just one note so get a ready think about what's going to happen and uh, see if you can do it two three four and one two Three, four. Let's do it again from the top. One, two, three, four. one. So we're doing this one on C. Two, three, four. Next one. Two, three, four, and B. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Keep going now. Might be getting tired of this one, you've been playing for a long time. Three, refocus. One, two, three, four. Second line. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good, all right, here we go. Now we're getting there, guys. We're nearly at the end. We've got one more of these, and then we've got well, a super hard one to finish on, but you're doing fantastic. So this is G. One, two three four and
concentrate on your wrist strokes. Get nice clear notes. Gonna go around one more time. Three, four, and one. Can that now if it helps? Three. Right, this last one now, different notes, different rhythms. Have a little read through it. Think about what's happening. Think about all the different notes, all the different rhythms. Take a second, have a good look. Here we go. After four. One, two, three, four, and. See if you can make it last all the way through the four beats. And then. Well, we're going to go back to the beginning. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Last line, here you are guys. One, two, three, four, that's it. And stop. Right. That may have been really tiring, uh, but I'm sure it's been good for you. Um, if you want to carry on, I'm just going to go over uh, our two songs, uh, Drunken Sailor and Merrily. Uh, if you want to join in for that just to finish off and um, if you don't then don't worry because you've done a very good work out there and there'll be some new stuff for you to learn tomorrow anyway so uh, here's Drunken Sailor if you want to play along with the backing Is merrily if you want to play along with that.